The National Federation of Group Water Schemes is working with the Loch Carra Group Water Scheme and communities across Mayo to help protect their local drinking water sources. Pesticides or weed killer that you spray in your gardens can make their way to your local drinking water source. People don't realise that conventional treatment methods do not remove these chemicals. So it's up to us all to try and prevent them from getting there in the first place. The pupils at Holy Angels National School in Clogher have been researching the links between biodiversity, pesticides and water quality. And we're here today to learn all about it. The men shed around Mayo are giving every family on the Loch Cara Group Water Scheme a bee hotel. Thanks guys! If you spray weed killer in your garden, you will kill the food from the bee. You will kill the bees. You come to live your washer source. You want to give me some tips of what you can do instead. There are many alternatives to chemicals in the shops. Plant pollinator friendly containers. Choose pollinator friendly bulbs such as crocus, which will flower in early spring. Create a herb bed to benefit your cooking as well as the bees. Avoid using harmful chemicals. Pesticides harm biodiversity, but they also harm our drinking water. One drop of pesticide can pollute 30 kilometers of water. We have learned about chemicals in pesticides. If you put chemicals in your garden, it can end up in your drinking water. The name of the chemicals are difficult to say. Kills all green plant growth. Keep product away from children and pets. Spray away from pond and other surface water bodies. Do not breathe spray. Kills long weeds including dandelion, daisy, white clover, plantain, black medic, lesser trefoil, buttercup, yarrow and common mass ear. Leave the weeds, it's food for the bees! You wouldn't want these in your drinking water, would you?